Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Sending the reward of Umrah to your departed loved ones or those unable to undertake the journey themselves is a profound expression of love and devotion. At Pure Passage we specialize in performing Umrah on behalf of your sick or deceased family members, ensuring they receive the sacred gift. We understand the challenges and impossibilities some face in embarking on this spiritual journey. Pure Passage is here to alleviate the physical and financial burdens, offering a professional and reliable service that takes care of every detail. Let us help you fulfill this obligation for your loved ones with utmost care and attention. Make it happen today, contact Pure Passage and secure this immense reward by performing Umrah on behalf of those close to your heart. Bi'ithni Allah. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to check out the channel The Voice of Reason. What a pretentious name. With the video, here is what Muslims get wrong about the Holy Trinity. Yeah, well, I am a Muslim. However, I haven't been a Muslim all my life. Matter of fact, I come from an Orthodox Christian background. So therefore, you could say I got the Trinity double wrong. As an Orthodox Christian, I never resonated with the so-called Holy Trinity. And as a Muslim, of course, I disagree with the whole concept, the theology of the Trinity. We already responded to a bunch of Christians claiming that the Trinity is rational, logical. However, I haven't seen a video that is addressing us Muslims, the stupid, stupid Muslims that don't really get the Trinity personally, because he claims this is what we get wrong about the Trinity. I'm very curious to find out, of course. Guys, before we jump into the video, do me the favor and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out the links in the description box to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Here is what Muslims get wrong about the Holy Trinity and about God. It's quite hilarious. He falls into a Freudian slip right away because he says, here is what Muslims get wrong about the Holy Trinity and about God. So even in his mind, there is already a separation. And with this, I already rest my case, of course. When you pray to God and you see God as triune, as a God of three persons, you cannot directly pray to one God alone. This is the issue that you are facing. And every Christian knows this, of course. Every Christian feels this. Who are you truly praying to? Are you praying to the Father, as Jesus says in the Bible, pray to the Father? Or are you praying to the Son now? Or are you praying to the Holy Spirit? Matter of fact, I've never seen a Christian actually praying to the Holy Spirit. They always want to receive the Holy Spirit, whatever that means. However, they are directing their prayers mainly to the Father or to Jesus. Sometimes, however, Christians pray to Mother Mary or different saints as well. They're praying to those saints to pray for them to God. And this is the Islamic claim. We're not claiming that you're praying to different gods per se. We're not saying that you believe in three gods. No, we're saying that you attributed partners to God. We do believe that you got the message from the prophets, Abraham, Moses, and so forth. And you got the message of one God. Even within your Bible, we can read about this. However, you fell into deception. You fell into the belief that you can attribute partners to God, that you can communicate to God through other entities, such as saints, such as Mother Mary. And moreover, of course, we believe that it is a fabric a Greek mythological philosophical interpretation of God in which you say God is not only one, a perfect unity. However, God is one, a tri-unity. God has three different aspects of himself. He has three different persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We only say that you're attributing something to God which is not God. He's not the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No, he's one God, 
one alone. Many Muslims mistakenly believe that Christianity is a polytheistic religion. That is that Christians believe in more than one God. But this is just not true. Either Muslims are... Yeah, as I already mentioned, this is not what Muslims claim. However, a little thought experiment for you here. Take your theology of the Trinity and compare it to Hinduism. Certain branches of Hinduism will claim there is only one God. Nobody else, only one God. However, that God manifests himself in lesser deities, certain personas, certain avatars of God. Don't you understand? There is only one God after all. However, this God can incarnate, this God can take a persona, this God can take a form. Ultimately, all of this here around us is an illusion and there is only one God. This is the theology of Hinduism. So now in Christianity, you claim the same. You say, hey, listen, there's only one God, but that God has three personas. Don't you understand? It is only one God after all, but that God has three persons. Yet again, the Holy Spirit, the Father and the Son. Don't you understand? We are monotheists. However, Islam says clearly, listen, guys, there's only one God, one God alone, and there is nothing like him. That's it. Stop attributing partners to God. God sent messengers. All the miracles that those messengers performed were by the power, the grace of God. Everything good comes from God. God is the creator of all things. We are merely humans. We are not sharing the divinity with God. We are all temporal. We are all gonna die. We all have a beginning and an end. God does not. God is absolutely infinite, absolutely transcendent. You cannot confine him to anthropomorphism. You cannot humanize God. That is simply the reality of God. However, Christians fell into exactly that trap of humanizing God. You claim that you believe in one God, but as I said, the Hindus claim the same thing. Don't you understand? The question here becomes, who is deviating from the pure monotheism? And every single religion is the same. It is only Islam that adheres clearly to Tawhid, the pure monotheism, the worship of one God alone. Is that Christians believe in more than one God. But this is just not true. Either Muslims are ignorant about what Christianity teaches, or they're being dishonest and they are blatantly misrepresenting Christianity. Yeah, I don't see how anybody is misrepresenting Christianity. Your claim is that God is one. However, he is three in one. And that is just... Yeah, well, you know, that's just like... Uh your opinion man you have to understand that this is your claim and your claim alone backed up by what is it backed up by revelation pure revelation that came down from the heavens proclaiming god is a trinity worship the triune god no of course not the conclusion that God is a supposed trinity was manufactured by the early Christian councils roughly 300 to 400 years after Jesus Christ. And now you're sitting here a thousand years later pointing the finger to Muslims, telling them, hey, listen, guys, you're misrepresenting us. Muslims, as I said already a billion times, worship God alone. God is one, one alone. That's it. That is the doctrine of Islam in a nutshell. Worship God alone. Do not attribute any partners to him. Point blank. You, on the other hand, try to convince us now that God is not uniquely one, but he is a triunity. That in itself is, of course, a contradiction. There is no such thing as a triunity. There is not a bi-unity either. There is not a quadro-unity. There is no such thing. A unity is a unity. One is one. One plus one plus one equals three. That's just what it is. But yet again, nobody is misrepresenting you. You are making those outrageous claims. Everybody here understands that you believe that you are a monotheistic religion. We understand that. However, we are critiquing your form of monotheism because your claim for the billionth time now is that God is a Father, a Son, and a Holy Spirit. We do not believe in that. And the Jews prior to the Christians did not believe in that either and of course do not believe in that either nowadays. 
Jesus, growing up in that environment, surely did not believe in a trinity either, nor did he believe to be God. We don't have any clear evidences of Jesus claiming to be God. We repeated this a billion times before as well. It is so frustrating at this point, and because you're grasping at straws, this is why you're pointing the finger at Muslims, trying to tell them, hey guys, you're misrepresenting us, ah, trying to find a fault within Islam, because you cannot congruently explain your own doctrine. Every idiot, every person that has nothing to do with religion, any atheist just looking at the evidence will come to the conclusion that Christianity is false. It is that simple. Christianity is not the direct lineage of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ did not preach what Catholics, what Orthodox, what Protestants preach today. Jesus Christ did not have the Bible that you possess today. Jesus Christ participated in the temple. Jesus Christ was circumcised. Jesus Christ did not eat pork. Jesus Christ prayed like a Muslim. We all know those talking points, but yet again, man, nobody is misrepresenting you. You are making outrageous claims. And this is the critique of the Muslims towards the Christians. That's it. We simply say, do not attribute something to God that you have no idea about. You're making claims that certain church fathers made and they had no knowledge either, man. They're pretending to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Meanwhile, in those councils, the majority, yes, voted for the Trinity. But there was at least 40% that voted against the Trinity. So where was the Holy Spirit there? Ultimately, they went by the Greek concept of democracy and they simply voted what is right and what is wrong. They voted who Jesus Christ supposedly is. They voted that the Father and the Son are co-equal. They voted on those matters. They are just mere men. This is not revelation whatsoever. And now, as I said, ready, thousands of years later, you're sitting here just regurgitating, repeating the same same old stuff. And you want us to believe the same stuff, the same lies. We do not believe it. We believe that God is uniquely one and this is it. You can talk about your Greek philosophy until the cows come home. Nothing will ever convince us that three is one. My Muslim friends, please understand, Christianity My believes Muslim in, friends. teaches, and professes one God. But what is it that we know about that one nice God? To point See, the Muslims like a Muslim, will huh? say that God is merciful and God is loving, but you know what? It's not enough. Saying that God is loving is not enough. What okay. Christians say is that God is love itself. Love is the essence of God. That's all God is. That's all God can be in his essence is love. Yeah, well, that is not the description of the Orthodox Church. After all, the essence of God in Orthodoxy is ultimately unknowable. So it is a mystery. The Trinity itself is a mystery, but the essence of God is even a greater mystery that we cannot fully understand. However, yes, he is right. God is love within Christianity. But how about the other attributes? The God in the Bible is a jealous God, for example. He's an angry God. He has all of those attributes as well. So he cannot be only love. It sounds good, right? You say, God is only love. God is love. He's not only loving like Allah. No, he is love, don't you see? Okay, yet again, go to the Old Testament when God commands you to destroy Amalek right? To destroy everything down there, all the people, all the children, the babies even, and the animals. Did that act come from love? Is that all love? Is God only love? Of course not. And this is why this doctrine is incongruent. Yet again, if God is only love, why then does he need three persons? Why is he then additionally Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Why then, yet again, does he have anger, righteous anger, in the Christian perspective? This does not add up. If he is only love, that would exclude all the anger, all the hate, all the jealousy. Is love. If God is one, which he is, but if God is one person, what is there to love before the creation of the universe? Yeah. Yet again, I rest my case. Always the same dumb juvenile anthropomorphism. This is what it is, man. Let's humanize God. Oh, God is just love. But if there is nobody else, uh, who is he loving then? How can he be loving if there is nobody else? Don't you understand, man? You're talking about persons, but ultimately you mean others. That's just what it is. Just because you make the claim that it is one God, this one God then, according to you, has to have a split personality disorder, right? 
He is one god, only one, but he has three persons. Hello, hello. Right, there is the father and the son. Do you really believe I don't know your doctrine, man? In your worldview, there is the father and the son, and they love each other eternally through the Holy Spirit. We all know this. Don't act as if we are some sort of stupid idiots that never heard about this and we simply cannot conceptualize this really sophisticated Greek philosophy. Oh, Muslim sand people, so silly, don't understand three in one. You're humanizing God, man. Just because you, in your limited humanity, need an object for your love, you then assume that God needs the same. What happened before creation? Who can God love now? If God is love, then God doesn't need an object to be loving. By your own standard, yet again, man is like saying, hey, there is a waterfall. But is the waterfall really wet? I need to go into that waterfall and get wet, get soaking wet, and then I will be able to say, you know what? This waterfall is truly wet because I am there. I am the person, I am the object that is getting wet here. Therefore, the waterfall is wet. Don't you understand? This is, of course, nonsense. This is bunk, man. The waterfall is wet no matter if there is an object that is getting wet. Don't you understand? Water is wet. And therefore, God in his majesty, in his absolute transcendence, if he is all loving or in your case, he is just love, guess what? He doesn't need an object to be loving. It is already implicit within him, within his essence, as you like to claim. But yet again, Christianity is ultimately like monotheism for kindergarten children, right? It is monotheism light. Hey guys, I know it's kind of hard for you Roman pagans over here. Hmm, let me give you a little bit of paganism and a little bit of monotheism. Let's mix and match so probably you will be able to understand this dear Europeans. It is absolutely ridiculous. Yet again, God is one only one we do not need to attribute any partners to him you on the other hand need to because you just cannot grasp that god is not a human wow it is so mind-blowing that god is actually not a human from palestine Groundbreaking, earth-shattering information. Wow, guys, you hear it here first. God is not a human. It's not as if it is said in the Bible a billion times before. No, 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 no. Let's just reinvent the wheel yet again. God is actually not a human. And God is actually not only a male human either. He's not a sky daddy like the atheist claim. This is why atheism is attacking Christianity over and over again. Because it is an easy target. Ha, huh, you believe in the sky daddy? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You believe in the father, but at the same time, your sky daddy is, of course, not enough. The sky daddy needs a sky son. Doesn't sound at all like Greek mythology. No, I never heard that story before of a god that is a father to a son. No, 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 never before. This is genuinely big news. Guys, it is so simple. Return to pure monotheism, the monotheism that all the prophets preached. Adam, Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, and Mohammed. All those prophets preached pure monotheism. Do not worship anything but God alone. Do not worship the creation. Worship God alone. Do not worship humans. Worship God alone. This is the pure monotheism that Islam adheres to. And unfortunately, Christianity straight away from. I hereby invite you to Islam. All right, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support Bobby's perspective. And now, as always, may God, the one God, bless you all, much love and peace.